Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for two Facebook groups fans of Serif Software and the Affinity Designer and Photo Group. Okay, hopefully this will be a very quick tutorial to help out an, an Affinity Designer and Photo Group member, Dave McGrath, who has done this skull image but he wanted it to look like it had been done in oil paintings or watercolours a bit like this sample here, which he's done in a different application, but he wants to do it in Affinity Photo. Now, as Affinity Photo doesn't really have any um, texture filters at the present moment, at least, um, we'd have to go about it a different way. So I did this, and I just want to quickly show him how I got to this. So I found an oil. Um, painting texture on the internet and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to knock all the color out of it by using HSL adjustment and merging that in then I'm going to come to the picture which I grabbed off Facebook of his skull uh, image and then I'll just copy that come back to this oil painting layer and paste that in and I'll just move it to roughly in the centre somewhere um, and what I would now do is I will duplicate this background or layer and I will move that above the skull image layer and I'm going to change the blending mode of this to average so it allows me to see the texture coming through um, and also it's, you know, it's made this area much whiter than the outside here um, which is what I'm, I think is the um, what it is looking for but the it does lose some of the colors in the image so what I've done there is I've gone back to this skull image layer and duplicated it and then it's just a case of finding a blend mode for this layer that works well and as you can see as I go through the different blend modes all sorts of weird and wacky effects can be got and I don't know quite what effect that he is sort of really after um, and I went with luminosity and then going back to his skull image I mean the, the colour that seems to be most affected is the green so he does have a sort of dark green which is still quite dark here but what I did do was I just added a levels adjustment above this second duplicate layer of the skull and the second duplicate layer of the background and then it's just a case then of tinkering with the settings just to make that skull image stand out just that little bit more how far you push the blacks and the whites is totally up to you but I'll leave that there and then it's just a case of getting the crop tool and that is the finished and end result so hopefully that answers his question that's how I did it I'm sure there's probably 500 thousands different ways of doing this but this is the way I did it so thank you for watching and goodbye